home for Christmas. You're pretty, a little early. It's pretty good though, right? Yeah, you're a little early. <laughs> for me. I don't always change it. It's no, I same. always mess up. I, honestly, on Mojo, I always like you would think I because I, I use these. You think I would know the buttons? I don't. You I know that this is the beer one, huh? You just hit them all. You're just like, oh, that's not the one I want. I'm like, all right, I think this. So, but there's actually like a legend here, so you can you can see what they're named. What did he name Biatch? Oh, Biatch. Biatch. <laughs> it's, it's it's appropriately. Uh, one more time. Listen, I'm right on time for me because I I decorate before Halloween. And now you just you just saw the whole display. What'd you think? My mom saw the whole display. She said that she really loved your white tree. Oh yeah, the, I all right. So she I have that tree. I have a black one coming too. Oh, you did get it. Your dad, yeah. your father. Yeah, because he. I know he kept asking. Punch. He's like, you know, I got a five foot black one. I, was like, oh, yeah. I love five foot gonna- blacks. <laughs> <laughs> How many plants do I have upstairs? Are you gonna keep the? black tree through halloween and do like a halloween decor of it mm. and then just keep it out for christmas and turn it into christmas no but i do like when people do that though i yeah, do like the like, black halloween trees but like you do a black halloween happen. tree and you do like black and orange ornaments and then like for christmas you just switch it over uh, i don't know i just i don't honestly don't yeah, know where i'm gonna put it but <laughs> i just said yes <laughs> That's actually a really good question. Because <laughs> the porch has a, another green one, a smaller green one out on the porch. That in he the gave me. spare bedroom? It's not. There's no room. Not with the air mattress. In your bedroom? There's no room. Not with the king size mattress. I know. It, it's it's either that or it's going to go in the pop room, but it's going to be kind of like awkward. Yeah, Maybe I should just really do one and then the other one <laughs> right next to each other. Just line them up. You could do that if you do decorate for Halloween, though. But if you have the, the same one, <laughs> holidays next to each other, I don't know. Like, the whole time? I don't know. Like, that seems excessive. I don't know. I'm, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I can put it here. And then we can have it as a, a new background. Wow. We just wow. have to move everything. And you know what you should do? Get rid of the stove that doesn't work and just put it in place of the stove because you don't use it anyway. I use the I use the stove top. I don't use the, the oven. oven. The oven Sorry. doesn't work. Yeah, let's just get you a griddle. Yeah, I mean, that's all you need. <laughs> <laughs> like that's you don't fine. need anything else. Pretty much. Or like a hot plate, one of the little like single hot plates, and you just mm. stick a stove uh, a pot on top of it. Yeah, I, cook I thought about doing an air fryer, but I just don't. I, I have, have my one. air fryer. I, I was thinking about getting like a like a big dookie one, uh, but I I don't know if I'd use it. And I, I haven't did see yet. one at Home Goods on sale, which was one I used to like a lot, and it was on sale for like a hundred fifty bucks, and it's normally like two mm. ninety. I think it was. It's I, the it, Cuisinart. The problem is the what? Cuisinart. Isn't it cuisine art? <laughs> I, you say it like it's queasy. Because <laughs> it's like Q U. I think it's C. Isn't it C U I? Oh, yeah, see, like I'm sorry, C-U-I-S-I-N-A-R-T. I always pronounce it as cuisine art. Cuisine uh, art? <laughs> cuisine art. Hold on, I got uh, That doesn't sound very fucking appealing. Watch the hands, brother. They're already starting <laughs> left side. Let me see. Queasy art does not sound like appetizing. Cuisine art. Cuisine, what do you think it is? C- cuisine art, because it's it's but basically no- the word is cuisine. I know, but they're, it's... It's they're making it one name to be a brand cuisine art cuisine art. If I'm wrong, then that's that's completely fine. But I've always can you say the name of it? <laughs> Maybe we should call. We should phone a friend. Who do you think would answer? You want to call one of your friends or my friends? I think my friends are all like busy right now. <laughs> should we call Heather real quick? Call Heather. Let's give her the spotlight. Just, but My but 100%. just you have to spell it. Don't give her any clues. Okay. Just spell it, and just tell her it's the brand. Come on, Heather. <laughs> the live the live phone calls. I know. Dude, do it from this side. Hey, my phone my phone's on one percent. We need. Hey, to shout out Heather. Shout out Heather. Heather. You're live on the podcast right now. <laughs> okay, you need to answer this question. How do you pronounce the brand? C U I S. I-N-A-R-T. I don't know. See, dude. I think the same thing. I don't know. I think it's cuisine art, and he said it's cuisine art. Cuisine art, because it's supposed like to be like cuisine. cuisine, like food. Oh, I've never said it like that. Yo, that's mad funny, though. I think it's cuisine art. <laughs> I'm gonna, have you, 
Have you uh, AI'd that shit? Try and like ask. We should. I know. You were our phone a friend. Shit. So now I feel like I need to double up because I just don't think it's right. Okay. Look it up. Because your phone a friend was just on your side. No, no, no. Yeah. But, but the fact that you said it the way that she did and cuisine art was so foreign. It's like, that's how I feel about y'all right now. <laughs> You should look it up. Look it up. You got to double down on it now. My phone's my phone's on slim pickings right now. We're All on one percent. Right. So I was gonna phone a friend. Oh, you want to phone a friend? I was gonna okay. try to. All right, we're gonna phone <laughs> another friend. I love you so much. Okay, I love you. Bye. Maybe we put this up as a poll on the page. Phone a friend. Would John pick up? I, I know it's it's. Yeah, maybe maybe maybe. Call I'll, John. Yeah, I'll call John. Call John. I'll call John. See, the, the funny thing is. Um, about John, where if she does side with me, this is... This is like a Diorio thing. I, it, it might be because for, mm, I'd say about 30 years of, of our lives, we thought that Sebastian from The Little Mermaid was a lobster. And we were dumbfounded that we found out he was a crab because <laughs> he had lobster features. Okay. <laughs> we also thought that Thackeray Binks was a uh, Zachary Binks. Oh, I did think that one. Okay. I did think that one for a long time, but yeah, no, it's, it's Thackeray. <laughs> <laughs> this to, might be a Diorio thing. I have this to make really sure I spell this correctly. <laughs> She's gonna be like, "Why are you calling me again?" I know. I I, I said I'll call you back in an hour, and now I'm calling her again. I'll Your call has been forwarded. To really? Oh, what, dude? Oh, she sent me a video. She said we're right. Ready? Let me see this. Wow, dude. Why that doesn't sound appealing. See? I just now I'm just curious and I I'll tip my hat if I'm if I'm wrong that I am wrong, but I'm curious now how many people thought that it was cuisine cuz cuz it looks like it, it, cuisine it does, art. Like, cuisine art sounds like art. that's gross. Like a cuisine art. <laughs> it's queasy art. <laughs> a cuisine art <laughs> coffee maker, cuisine art air fryer. I feel like that's the food that I would make and prepare for somebody cuisine. is queasy art <laughs> it's not very appealing. like art the clown like a queasy oh, art the clown maybe i'm thinking like it's just not like he's about to like like that oh, yeah, that's so why because here's the other thing i want to catch people off guard i love that heather immediately went to work and she did hey so that's fine <laughs> uh i know try to catch shit. someone else i know see. i'm trying to think who else i could call Wait, all right my mother Oh, okay. Perfect. My mother. Now, perfect. Your mom's. <laughs> let's see. She if gets. I spelled it for my mom, my mom wouldn't even know what that spells. All right. This is the Which end all be all. If it's like Babs. It's we'll a Diorio <laughs> thing. Babs isn't a Diorio. Oh, yeah. True. But like she was married to one, though. That's no, That means she's just been brainwashed. Hi, Ma. You're on the podcast right now. I have a quick question. I'm going to spell a brand name and I need you to say how it's pronounced. Wait, hold on, I don't, I don't, hold on. Time out, I should have had it pulled up already. See you. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Make sure it's right. All right. C-U-I-S-I-N-A-R-T. They make things for the kitchen. Cuisinart. Fuck. It is a Diorio thing. All right, well, (laughs) I called it cuisine art. It sounded more, it sounded better than, cuisine art sounds like a bad meal. (laughs) <laughs> all right that's all i needed i was wrong okay thanks babs okay bye wow dude it's a now my main question is if your, <laughs> your sister thinks the same. because then <laughs> it, it, it really, really is a diorio thing it could be if she doesn't then it's a you thing you know what's funny though i, I hope I, she calls I, us back will she call us back you think no she's in a meeting no. i i i don't think i've ever really I just assumed. I don't think I've ever heard the the pronunciation. I just look at it and assume that it was cu- cuisine art. <laughs> I don't know if cuisine I ever art, did dude. either, but there's no e, so you wouldn't go like right. cuisine and then a separate word art. I understand, but so because like, it was a brand, I figured they were just trying to to make it roll because an e to, next to an a wouldn't make sense as a brand name unless it's two separate words. In which case, that I don't think worked. that they would do that. I thought they were just being fancy with the word, but I now I really want to know what John says. See if, really, if I text her, she's gonna look it up, and that's not that's cheating. Yeah, Babs, we got, Babs how, and Heather got like the real the real reaction. How long is her meeting? You think? Hold on, I'll just tell her to call me when she's done. Yeah, we can make this podcast episode go. <laughs> Don't you worry. All right. Uh, all right. Okay. 
That's fair. That, that all right. She goes, it's a Cuisinart commercial, so it's got to be right. I'm like, absolutely. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Listen, that's fine. I To me, it's like. Take the L. Do you ever take L's? Like, no. You, I know, I nah, girls don't take L's I very take well. L's. No, you don't. Y'all, y'all are very bad. You're, you're like bad at admitting when you're wrong. I will say I'm wrong, but I just, I'm surprised that it's pronounced that way because it doesn't sound very appealing. Cuisinart. <laughs> Like you'll get queasy from that's what that's how it sounds. The art that gets made <laughs> right. from your air fryer from your bad meal. <laughs> that's a queasy art. So, are you gonna buy a cuisine art air fryer on Black Friday? Um, n- no, because it's I'm I'm more focused. Right, I think my gift. I usually get myself a gift for Christmas. I think my gift this year was a windshield because it was so expensive. So I don't think I'm really buying myself anything. I have other people to buy stuff for. Fair. I'm you got to, more people to buy stuff for this year. I know. Year. I'm, I'm trying not to be greedy right now. Mm-hmm. Tate McCray. <laughs> what are you getting the kids? This isn't our episode. It's, it's not. It's not. It's Should not. this be our episode and we'll go um, into the next thing after? I don't know. What, what, like, yeah, we could. We yeah, could. let's just keep going. All right. Well, well, we'll let's, keep going. What are you getting for is, the kids? This is, preli- this is, this preliminary. is our prelim for Christmas. This is a prelim because we'll do a Christmas episode. Yes. Um it's not like they'll ever listen to this, so it doesn't really matter. I got a few. Yeah, they're like. <laughs> honestly, like they shouldn't listen to this. Five and. How old is Remy? Uh, five and three. Well, six and. She's going to be six. Okay, yeah. Six and three. Okay. Um, Which also, she did not forget about the happy napper. Okay, so this happy <laughs> napper thing is because uh, this little gal and I were sitting on the couch and we were snuggling. Like. It was so cute. Okay. Anyways, I just like got the image. She was just so freaking cute. But we sat there and then all of a sudden there was a commercial. And it's called, what is it called? Uh, Happy Happy, Napper. Happy Napper. And essentially it is the cutest little sleeping bag situation with like, there's like unicorns and there's like a a mermaid one and whatever else. And she's Uh. like... I want that. And I was like, I will buy that for you. And <laughs> I was like, she did not I was like, forget. I will get that for you. And I said, <laughs> let's talk to Joe and mom. And when you have a sleepover here, I will be sure to get your happy napper. Okay. I will let her know. So you can have a sleepover <laughs> and this is your little happy napper and I'll sleep on the couch and we can just have a little sleepover. She's like, okay, perfect. I, I, I thought she would have forgotten. I oh, still would have no, gotten no. it for her. Nope. But I thought she would have forgotten because she's a kid. No. No. She's asked you about it. So a couple things here. Number one, the first time a commercial came on and she said she wanted something, I, I made a note in my head because her yes. birthday's coming up. And then I was telling Mel. She's go, a little Scorpio baby. Is that what she is? November something? Whatever November is, I guess. Yes. Yeah, I only know Gem- Gemini's. <laughs> Heather's a Gemini. Hey, shout out Heather. Um, and I made I made a mention to Mel, and she goes, she says that about every commercial. And then I go, got it. Really? Every, then after that, every single commercial. I, want, I that. want that. I want that. And then the two of them will sit there and go, I want that. I want that. So then I start <laughs> chiming in. There's like this, um, this like fart gun where it just it like makes fart noises and okay. stuff. And they were both like, I want that. I was like, I legitimately want that. <laughs> Like, I actually want that. Okay. Um, so the other day, this is a new story. I, don't, I haven't told you. Okay. The other day, we were at the playground, and we are playing basketball. She's trying to shoot some baskets. And she said, I, I was doing, like, a half-court shot. So I was like, what do I get if I make it? And she said, I get, like, a, a, a real-life Pokemon or something. And then for her, she's like, well, what do I get if I make it? I was like, I don't know. What do you want? She goes, a phone. I go, what? You don't need a phone. A phone for what? You're five. Who are you going to call? She laughs and she goes, Camilla. <laughs> I was like, yo. Yes. I go, we can FaceTime her. You don't need your yes. own phone. For that. Get, get her a phone. But she's get so quick with, with it. I need one phone number in that phone. And that was it. Speed dial to me. Not her mom, not her dad, <laughs> not her family. Camilla. Yo, and as soon as I said. We spent like three hours together and it was the best three hours of both of our lives. <laughs> both of your lives. It's just like, I go, why do you need a phone? You're sick. She laughs. And then she goes, so I can call Camilla. I'm like, dude, you're wild. I love her so much. Uh, like, I can't even put it into words. We did nothing and everything all at the same time. Like, truthfully. Is that a spider? Uh, yeah. It's kind of cool because he's glowing right now. <laughs> he's in the spotlight. Yeah, I get a ton of... So, uh, 
I have the traps. I catch them all the time. There's a ton of spiders down here. Oh. It's, it's, Icky. I've never lived in a house that had more spiders in the basement than this one. Icky. Okay. Bro, wait, wait. I know. Wait. Cause you, oh yeah. Wait. I know I'm in the woods. So they were like, we didn't, we're going to go into this later, but we will go into it later. But I, cause you're, I did an you're so judgy they, about things. There with, were mice footprints. In yeah. Our basement. You're we so, like, you're so judgy. You come here and you go, you remember you steved my floor. Like it, it's not clean or something. Because the, you Cause don't, so, you wear shoes. So what people, you have cats, bro. In the middle East, you don't wear shoes inside your house. Cause it's, well, I'm not, very we're not in the middle East. We're in the United States of America but and I, I can do whatever I want. In the house. I can do whatever I want. I it's my house. I took shoes off in your house and then all of a sudden I was walking around and I was like I feel dirty wearing my socks on here because you now have your shoes that stepped in dog piss and people how do you piss. know I stepped in dog piss you never know on the streets you walk around Providence who cares you I clean my piss. floors yeah but I'm saying you probably have like shit but you have cats shoes. bro you have animals in your house yeah that's gross also, know. people who have dogs, they come into the house. Like, they, they're outside. They fucking eat their own shit. They're, they're laying on the couch. That's See, I gross. Would, I would wipe their paws. Like my, Every fucking... No, you. Every time. My friend my friend Jada, her sister-in-law. <sighs> Here we go. Um, Here we go. She... They have a, they live in L.A., though, so I guess maybe a little dirtier. <laughs> um, they live in L.A. So... Every time they walk out with their dog, it's like a little golden doodle. When they come back in, I mean, her her fiance will just like let him in the house, but she like freaks out and she like wipes their paws and like his paws and like wipes uh -huh. them down. Yeah, mm -hmm. I would probably every, do that. Yeah, every time I'm sure. I probably would. Yeah, I did, but again, you're just so judgy. Like I can't just live judging. my life you the way live I want your to. Life. I've never said you had to change it. Like, How's that judging? Uh, I'm your just floor's like, dirty because you wear like, your shoes, bro. I wear my shoes to like go to bed, I, which I think is. Really weird. Cause Watch the, the hands, dog. One of the things that I noticed, I never put it like two and two together because I remember I remember thinking and I was like, oh, he wears shoes all the time in the house. Like, fine. And then I like started to picture your life <laughs> more. And then I was like, why? He takes his shoes off before he gets in the shower and then he puts his shoes back on. <laughs> After the show. Um, it was just a very weird. Usually, if like if I if I shower that late, typically like my second shower is earlier because if I work out, it's earlier in the day, okay. so that's like the second shower. So I typically won't do like a night night one. But if I do a night one, it's basically like yeah, my shoes might be off, but then I'm kind of like shutting it down. Whereas like it might have a half hour left before I go to bed. But then you don't put on your shoes, right? But if you do not, like, if it's late, late, no. But like, I just think of like your midday shower. It's like I take off my socks. If that, like, if I'm wearing socks, but you yeah. have to like unlace your sneakers and take off your shoes and then take off your socks and then you shower and you dry yourself off and then you put clothes on and then you put your shoes back on. I don't know. It's just it's a just, very like foreign I'm, concept to me. Yeah, it's foreign for me. Like I'm uncomfortable when I don't have my shoes on. I'm just uncomfortable. Were you a premature baby? That might be like a sensory I thing. I might be like a retard baby <laughs> that I grew up and Joe. now I'm I'm a re I'm a regular adult. Joe, you're done. <laughs> you're not done. I, I mean, don't know. I done. think there's some elements of me which again cuz I don't care to I don't care to identify this or quantify this. Some people really want to like know if they have a thing, like a tick or like are mm. you on the spectrum? Yeah. I don't care to know cuz I'm just who I am. Okay. And it doesn't affect me. I like it like doesn't butt, bother me. I feel like a butt is coming. But I might be on the spectrum. <laughs> <laughs> but like for real, like I, I think some of the things that like I'm there's there's quirkiness to me. There is. That is <laughs> <good. I've> noticed. <laughs> like you have certain mannerisms and certain quirks about you. That, I think so. Like and the you analness. like you like things a certain particular way. Like it's yeah, just yeah. I could it's be very almost like ADHD. Not ADHD. O C D. You you have like yeah. But like they say that OCD can also link to certain forms of like autism. autism. Like there's certain things that also yeah. connect to other yeah, things. Yeah, I'm sure there's, <laughs> there could be some there, dude. You never I don't know, know, dude. Because I can, yeah, it's, it's like the There's no point in knowing structure. anyways because what does that change? It changes absolutely nothing. Unless yeah. it helps you then identify it and then figure out ways to like help you maybe not get so tick over something nah. that's more trivial. I just, I don't, but, I don't like the label aspect because then I think it almost turns into, for some people, like, it's a way to identify themselves. Okay. I don't care. What if you use it as like a learning curve though instead? So you're just like, oh, okay, like 
I do have this. So maybe I could then use this to like figure out a different way of me being able to handle a certain situation. So I don't like have this reaction. I think that's just called self-awareness. Do you have that self-awareness? I do. I I think to some degree, I mean, I don't, I don't want to be like, I don't know, braggy about it, I guess. I don't know. I try to be self-aware of, of things. Yeah. It just depends on whether I feel like, is this worth me trying to fix? Or you know, change? it's really funny. You got brought up last night in a conversation with Nick and I. It was a more like personal conversation. Oh, man. But I, did I get roasted in it? No. <laughs> I was like, we were talking about like certain things about ourselves that we could like work on or whatever. So it was a more like personal conversation that I won't like go into. But I was like, I think you're kind of like Joe where <laughs> smaller things like like kind of just like bug you or bother you yeah. and you don't if you don't have the control over it and you don't know how to fix like it just it feels very like overwhelming and he was like yeah he was like yeah I was like well that's kind of what I've picked up about Joe where it's yeah. like the smaller more trivial things like he can't sweat it but maybe I could but the bigger things right we've talked about this like yeah. job or whatever like those are the things that maybe I sweat more so than you would like yeah and other people do too like it's like one or the other do you sweat the small stuff the big stuff or all of it I, like, yeah <laughs> i think there's there's always going to be a level of you're you're going to sweat something for yeah. me it's it's things that are in my control that didn't go the right way i guess yes i feel like that maybe yes. bothers me but big picture we things know. when i'm when i'm late yeah the, just, the, 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 that bothers yeah. me yeah because that's like that's not a big deal and it's not really in my control but it, it i think it's because it's so like ancillary like why didn't this go right yeah. versus like big picture things it, it doesn't bother me i would ask mike but i feel like he's not wait, gonna know what i'm talking about wait you have to <laughs> all right you on. have to he's gonna <laughs> hold on all right hey i'm on the podcast i have a quick question while you called me <laughs> all right i'm gonna i'm gonna spell a brand name and i need you to pronounce it okay C U I S I A. Wait, oh, no, I spelled it wrong. C U I S I N A R T. Cuisine art. Wait, say it again. Cuisine art. Yes! <laughs> yes, I'm not the only one. <laughs> maybe it's just you and your friends. It's really what it is. I don't, yeah, I guess not. Maybe. Or maybe, oh, you know what would be a good thing? Is it a male versus female thing? Oh, yeah, maybe. That so, might be a thing. So it is actually pronounced, now I say cuisine art like you do, but it is actually yeah, pronounced yeah. cuisine art, which sounds disgusting. Yeah, it's so, it's so bad. <laughs> I mean, I, we can go on about how we, you know, pronounce things. I mean, this, you know, this it's either cuisine art if you're a douchebag or if you're a regular person like myself, it's cuisine art. <laughs> exactly. All right. Thank you. I'll call you after this. All right. Make sure this is edited. Right. Okay. Bye. Nope. It's going to be in there. <laughs> <laughs> That's mad funny though. So I'm wondering, is it a you and your friends thing or is it just male versus female? We need to put up a poll today and then just, just do the pronunciation just, like, of is it. Is there one other male that you can call? That would answer? Yes. Uh, like one other male, and I feel like I would have my answer. Oh, shit. Hold on. Let me see. <clears throat> um, I could, I could, I could try Pete. I was going to say. I'll try Pete. Okay. <laughs> this is the episode. This is just an We're episode just, like, of calling call. a phone, <laughs> phone a friend. Hello. Dude, how did you answer that fast? That's not my phone. Okay. All right. So I, we're on the podcast right now. I have a quick question and I, I'm going to spell out a brand name and I just need you to pronounce it. Yeah, sure. Okay. Ready? C U I S I N A R T. I was trying to watch her because I feel like I'm spelling it wrong. All right. So it's C U I S I. Okay. All right. Okay. N A R T. N A R T. And then just tell me how you pronounce it. Oh, Cuisinart. Okay. Thanks. That's all I needed. Yep, no problem. Anytime. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> so it's not a male I thing. So it's not a male thing. It's a. 
And it's not a you and your friends thing because you no. and your friends. So. It's also, it's not surprising that it would be <laughs> me and Mike so fuck that would say it that Who way. Who else? I, I like, need a poll. We just have I to. Know. Ma- can we what do? What do you think? Let's like put bets. How do you think cheese would pronounce it? Fuck. I don't know because like is it he's da- so. He's in- a dad. He's know? a dad. He's so indoctrinated with like, it, you know, Kim's pretty up with things like that. So like she probably would know. So, okay. So we think that he would agree with me. Maybe. We'll just do a story and okay. then we'll both say it the way we say it and just be like, is it pronounced? And then I'll say it and then you say it. And then we'll just, and then put up a poll and just okay. see what people say. Cause I'm very interested to see how many people what, say it incorrectly, like me. What if there's only two? It's just, <laughs> it's just me and Mike, honestly. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, at this point, it could be. It could, it really could be. Nuts. It's, I, I get, I get that it's not spelt cuisine, but again, without, I just thought they would try to be fancy with the the the, the brand, the the brand name. What the fuck were we just talking about? <laughs> Christmas gifts. Um, you were saying, <laughs> no, we were not. Yeah, oh, yeah. we were. Well, you were we, saying that Remy we said she wanted a phone to phone a friend me. Yeah, that we, and I we said that we had the, so far so away. Far, we had the best time. Like I said, it was we spent like three or four hours together, and it was the best three or four hours of both of our lives. Yes. Um, we sat there and made mac and cheese. I made burgers that I called them Krabby Patties to see if she would eat them. She was so excited. She took a bite and she's like, "No." I was like, "Okay, at mm. least we tried." Yeah. Um. So we had um mac and cheese, and we watched SpongeBob, mm. and she got an extra episode out of me because she was like. Can I watch one more? I'm like, okay. Mm-hmm. So it was like an extra like 20 minutes or whatever. <coughs> uh, then we went to bed and we read a book. And then she's like, can you read another book? And I said, oh, mm-hmm. okay. Sometimes the books just never end. Okay. <laughs> so I sat there and we read another book. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, you got to go to bed, okay? And she's like, okay. She went right to sleep. Yeah. Little baby angel. Oh, yeah. Like everything about her. It was just like, you're just, it gave me potentially baby fever. <laughs> Oh. Watching a kid for four hours gave me baby fever. It's again in those small doses. <sighs> but I want you know, them at five year old, like five years old. You could adopt. And I then could just also start do that. start start from at five. five and then work. So my I just want to skip the whole pregnancy and the one two. I diapers. just can't picture myself pregnant. Mm. That's the that's the weirdest part. I can't picture myself pregnant. Can you picture me pregnant? Mm, no, but I mean, I, I don't also couldn't imagine my sister being pregnant. And then when she was, I just it didn't really. Like, like if you were, were it when it happens, you just wouldn't be like, "Oh, it's so weird." It would just be I like, "Oh, like she's would, pregnant." <laughs> like I feel like I just get like, like I love bellies, but I I don't know if I would love to see like something move inside me. I don't know. Yeah, I just like it. it like almost, I think I watch one too many scary movies that I'm like, "What is this?" What, like, what, what demon child? Literally, is I'm like, "What is going on in my stomach?" Anyways, uh, Christmas gifts. So, what are you, what else are you getting? For them, yes. Uh, I don't. Know. I got stuff on my Amazon cart. I got. Uh, he's like really into puzzles right now, so I got a oh, couple cute. puzzles. Um, her. I don't know. I don't. Uh, Disney on Ice. I think we're gonna do Disney oh, on Ice. Oh, she's gonna love that. Yeah, and then like, do actual, you want to get me a ticket too? I'll just come with you guys. Um. Yeah. If you want to pay for it, <laughs> to a whole group outing. Perfect. Um. Yeah, because c- her birthday's coming up. It's next week. Uh, well, at the time of this recording, it's next week. So I, I'm not thinking yet. Got it. For her. We're just trying to get to that point first. A lot Disney of people on are Ice gonna, is going to be birthday or Christmas? Christmas because it's two days after. The show is two days after Christmas. Okay. So it kind of just works out. And then there's a bunch of people that are going to get gift cards too. Are you getting, are you getting an actual gift from Mel? Uh, or are you doing the gift card thing? She is, you don't have to say what it is, but yeah, she won't. She won't listen. She doesn't oh, listen. I know that's true. She doesn't listen to any of my stuff, which Thank is God. honestly, it's it's fine because she gets enough of me. It's it's completely fine. Um, I think I might get her a couple of things to actually open, but I am gonna get her. I'm gonna pay for her to get a tattoo. Oh, because she really wanted one after you got like four of them, right? I didn't. I got like one, and, and she, she was she like, was super jealous. But yeah. like last year, she got two. So I was like, <clears throat> okay. I think I'm going to schedule the day. And yeah. honestly, I was going to get me one too. But then it's like, it that's for a full day. That's a lot of money because they're, yeah. they're very expensive per hour. 
Okay. But I think I asked her if she would be cool with that, and she said, yeah. Okay, so a few things to open and then a tattoo. Yeah, because she's not going to Did you ever get like, a matching tattoo with your significant, no. significant other? I don't mean now, but no. I just mean like in the future. Would you ever do that? No, I don't think so. I don't. I, matching tattoos are... Or like, would you get a tattoo <clears throat> of a significant other on you? All of, like their name or something? Yeah. No. Would you do it of a baby? Would you do it of a, Ava? I don't know. I feel like if her parents won't do it, it's like, I don't, Fair. it's like, why would I do it? Fair. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Like me and John were supposed to get, uh, like, Sibling tattoos? like a Gemini thing, which I do have a Gemini tattoo. I was going to say you have one. Because Nick was going to get it, and then you were like, yeah, it's a Gemini thing. And he was like, wait, what? Yeah, because some people think it's like a Medusa type deal. Yeah. Like it's a Gemini thing. But uh, I don't know. She said she was going to get a tattoo when she's 18. She is well over that now. And uh, She's 19 and a half. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, and she still doesn't have one. So I don't know. Matching tattoos. I know some people do like the wedding band tattoo. Yeah. I guess you could. It's just, you know, I don't know. I don't know if I'd get a, a matching, like... Tattoo. I mean, me, Mike, and Pete have talked about doing some... Like, d like each of us like doing... A, a thing of Block Island. Right, but a different your... version. Like, do an outline of the island, but each of us had the different ideas of what to do with it. I like that. So, or, like, what if you did an outline of... You guys all did an outline of Block Island, but then you all got different landmarks on it. So, like, yours is just blank as an outline, mm -hmm. but then you have, like, a little mudslide from, like, Yellow Kittens. And then, like... That's what <laughs> Mike we were talking has, about. like, a, an outline. Yeah, like, but then, like, he has... What's something else that you guys like to do? Because you guys go to Champlain's. You guys go to... Yeah, um, I don't know. There's, the there's, there's different ideas. Everybody has, like, an idea. So, it's going to be probably the outline of the island, and then everybody just does whatever they want with it okay so that's that's like the only matching one i think you guys that are so have. cute we're, we're just you know i love that for you just a band of bros i love that for you <laughs> dude we still talk about the video with you and nick no I don't think <laughs> Every, it's everybody's yo, favorite video yo i was in costa rica right and i'm like that's wait so is that where you were when we were I in, was in costa Island? rica oh that's right i will I say wait like, can i before you say something yeah i need to make a note I I get, think because he was far away, we we couldn't see your friend, the the guy. Okay. So when the camera went on him, I think he was so far away that none of us really knew. It was like, sh like is that a guy? Not not to like just because we yeah, couldn't see. I don't even was, remember who I showed you. To be honest, weren't you there with two friends? I was there with eight of our like six other friends. So there was on the opposite couch. There was a, a girl, and I was like, I I think oh, it's a guy. I think it was Marissa and her, her <coughs> husband George. That's so her husband was on the other side. Yes. So we went silent, but really we 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 <laughs> talked about it after. Like I think we should have probably, but we didn't. We couldn't see because he was far away. I'm like, I don't know if that's. But it was just it was funny because it <laughs> added to the fact that so like they called me right. I'm in Costa Rica, and we're at the house and we're like kind of just like chilling, and like. I picked up and like no one's talking and I was like this is so weird and then all I was like it, it was like silent for a while and I was like this is just so awkward like I'm so confused and then all of a sudden he goes where's Nick and I showed Nick and then they go Fire! like they go nuts right the three of them just -da -da. and then I'm like that's so weird so then like I turned it towards me and I was like what are you guys doing and then they're <laughs> silent dead silent and then I was like okay and then like Nick poked his head in and they're like, yeah. And then it was this, it was like that for like 10 minutes of this phone call that then every you put time it I on, would, you put it on the I, fan. I put it on the fan. My favorite was when you put it on you, both of you and you're like, we're both in it. And then we didn't say anything. Like, and then you went and then showed him. <laughs> and then we went, <laughs> it was only when it was Nick by himself. Cause I'm like, <laughs> like I showed my friends and like, no, they didn't even say anything to like my friends. Then I like showed me and Nick didn't say anything. The second was Nick by itself. It was I just know. like, really it should have been George too. We just didn't know. I was dying. Afterwards. It was uh, completely Nick and I unprompted. Were like, Nick were, well, Nick and I were like, do you think that they planned this? Like, this was so strange. Didn't need to. And we talked about it afterwards, and you're like, no, it was not planned. I was like, how did you guys all get on the same page? Like, this is how you guys are all friends. Like, you guys just, like, read the room, and you guys were like, let's we just do just didn't this. even need to. We did it with John and Alex, too. And John answered, and then all of a sudden, like, Alex was on. Once she showed Alex, we started celebrating. And then he took the phone, ran in the closet. <laughs> 
Yeah, uh, it's completely unprompted. I love that. You you guys are just wild. But anyways, I don't know how we got on that. But I love your little matching tattoo idea. Sure. What's um. What are you doing for Christmas? I can't even tell you what I'm getting for Nick because Nick watches all of the podcasts. Mm. So I can't even tell you what I'm doing. Um, but we did set a limit because we are on budgets this year. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> we got to recap your entertainment budget from this year. We'll do two. it at the end of the year. Um, so, yeah, we're on budgets this year. So we did put a cap, especially since his birthday's in December, mine's in December. So we just get like double hit at the same time, which yeah. <laughs> I mean, it. In theory, we should be better about buying each other gifts like earlier in the year to prep for the fact that we also have Christmas. But yeah, I do that kind of, but like not a ton. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we, um, I can't even say what I'm getting. But what we normally do is we go to Gabby's house and Gabby's parents' house. Yep. And we go to Springfield every year for Christmas and then we celebrate there. So I shall report back on our Christmas episode of like, recap what goes down and whatever and i'm just gonna have to tell nikki to not watch it in case i do say what i end up getting him okay but we'll do like an actual dedicated post sure to christmas your favorite holiday and then we'll just talk about the christmas crawl and all the fun stuff what a time i know i can't wait i love that for you i do too i don't know where we went with this i don't know this this is a good like catch-all Every now and then we kind of just do like a, you know, like Damazetti does Ask the Professor and it's yeah. just a bunch of random things. This is our random one. Whatever. I know. And we haven't done one in a while. So I guess that was good for us. Yeah. It was a little ramble. Ramble. <laughs> quiz and our... Squeeze it art to Christmas gifts. We have to, to put, I need that poll. I just like suddenly had these in my hands. Like that's, it's just. That's for next week. That's so that's, next that's week. next week, which we'll record, you know, next, next week. Next week. Obviously. So. <laughs> obviously. Well, I love that for us. Okay. Bye. Where's okay. my gavel? Damn it. <laughs>